Hey everybody, it's Clint Powell, and again, I'm here with Eric Buchanan and Associates, and just some casual conversations. I have used Eric and his team in the past, and uh, I had questions before I went and talked to Eric. I got these notifications from my insurance. I don't speak insurance. Eric and his team do speak insurance, and so uh, I thought I would ask some questions that you may relate to as well. Now, today's question is, what is ERISA? And I could give you my version of ERISA, but it would probably be X-rated. It would probably not be very good. So I thought I would ask somebody that knows more than me. Chandler Wilson. Chandler, how you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you, Clint? I'm good. Okay. I, I have, and we literally talked about this. I, when I did use Eric and the team, it was an ERISA case. Mm -hmm. And uh, I gave you the layman's terms, my, my definition of ERISA before we came on. And I won't say that here. So why don't you explain to everybody what ERISA is in just basic terms. If they need to know more, they can always contact you. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, it is a pretty complex subject, but just for purposes of this, let's try to keep it as simple as we can, right? Yeah. Um, so ERISA is a law, a federal law that applies to claims related to pretty much any employee benefit you get. So that can be uh, life insurance, health insurance, disability insurance. It applies to pensions. Pretty much any kind of benefit you get through your employer is more than likely is going to be uh, have ERISA apply. And ERISA stands for uh, the Employee Retirement Income Security Act. It was uh, passed back in 1974 um, uh, originally to kind of give some uniformity to these claims because at the time you kind of at each state was doing their own thing. Basically, a lot of confusion. Um, you know, these insurance companies had different obligations in different states, so. Originally, the purpose of ERISA was to kind of give everybody federally, you know, the same framework that they're dealing with. And it basically gives insurance companies a set of rules that they have to follow, as well as employers, um, when, you know, somebody files one of these claims. Yeah, what I found out about it, and this is great. This is where you get to tell me, no, Clint, you didn't learn that correctly from us. <laughs> or, you're right on. A couple things. First, there are little deadlines their deadlines first of all how the case gets decided is a little different and you may have you you may not even know you have an ERISA type of a, of of a policy you may just think it's regular you know I got insurance great but you may not know you fall under ERISA until you need you need to have a claim or you have a claim is that correct Absolutely. Yeah. And, and it's important to try to figure that out early, whether you have an ERISA claim and talk to somebody to figure that out. Uh, because as you kind of alluded to, ERISA has a lot of pitfalls being, it being kind of its own thing. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot of quirks um, that can trip you up if you're looking at it kind of just like another, you know, regular insurance contract or something like that. Uh, and I'd be happy to dive into some of the, the big ones that you want to watch out for. Well, yeah, let's, and we don't have to spend too much time on it because yeah. these are supposed to be short, casual videos. But one of the things, again, I'll say it and you confirm it or deny it or correct me. Mm -hmm. I, one of the reasons I think it's important for people to, to see this before they need it and go, I don't know if I have an ERISA case, because if you do and there is a claim, the clock starts ticking kind of right away. And mm -hmm. the insurance companies know that, but you may not. Is that correct? Yes. So, and it really, and the thing with ERISA, plans is it usually just depends on what the policy says and, and they're all going to have some kind of deadline in there like you need to file your claim within so many days of you becoming disabled if it's a death you know if it's a disability policy or if it's a life insurance policy within so many days you know the person's passing so there are hard and fast deadlines that you got to be aware of and you know if you miss them you might be out of luck and you do, do not want that to happen yeah um, this is silly. And then I'll ask you how to get in touch with you. If, when, if somebody has got a policy and they just want to know if it's an ERISA, they can probably ask their HR or can they call? Is that, is that what you would suggest? Like if I've got insurance, I go, you know what? I don't know if this is an ERISA uh, insurance policy or not. Should they just ask their HR department? So, I mean, it's a good idea to ask them, but I wouldn't rely on it. Um, but it's not a bad idea to do so. I mean, sometimes there is, it's not always a, hard, a clean answer. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes we can actually fight that issue when we're in court of, you know, us saying it's not a risk, the insurance company saying it is. So the, I think the safe way to do it is if there's any doubt at all, you should assume ERISA applies and assume those deadlines apply mm -hmm. to you so that you don't find out later, oh, I missed that deadline. So the safe answer is you know, always 
think that it is Arissa until you know for sure it's not. I'll tell you why I started smiling. Because you're a trained attorney that deals with this <laughs> every day. And whenever the attorney looks to the sky, if you think you as the lay person can handle this, when the attorney that does this every day goes, yeah, let me find the best way to explain this. <laughs> At that point, just, this is how my brain works. I go, never mind. Here's the policy. You take care of it. Because if, if the attorney's looking up, I'm out of luck. Yeah, I mean, that's really the best. You really should talk to an attorney who, who uh, t if you want to know a good, clean answer, is talk to an attorney that yeah. does this, that specializes in this area of law if you want to get a safe answer. Because, I mean, we run into it all the time that the employers, the HR people, a lot of times they don't know. That's and they right. might tell you something wrong. Uh, if I asked you how to, if somebody watches these, watch this video and they want to get a hold of you or somebody on the team, um, and I put all the attorneys so far, I've done this on the spot to make sure. Do you know how to get a hold of your team in case I ask? Because you're busy every day. Do you know the website and the phone number? If not, I do. Absolutely, I do. So okay. the website is www.buchanandisability.com, and that's Buchanan spelled B-U-C-H-A-N-A-N. And then you can call us at our phone number. It's 423-634-2506. Uh, Chandler, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate your time. All right, great. Thanks for having me on. All right. Bye, everybody.